Hello everyone and welcome to the video, and today we're going to be talking about one of the best damage oriented frenzy builds that you can have in Elden Ring. But before we get into the video, I would like to ask you guys to not only drop a sub, but to like the video if you found it helpful and you like the build. So now the next thing I want to talk about is actually if you guys have any trouble getting any of these items and you don't want to go into New Game Plus because you missed them in your main playthrough, all you have to do is go to MMOEXP.com and they sell any item in the game and you can use code ISARE for 5% off. So with that being said, let's get right into the build. So the first thing we always talk about is the equipment of the build. So for this particular one, we are running Magma Blade plus 9 and we are running two of them. And there is a little bit of an asterisk next to this because this is the only build where I feel like these weapons are not as viable for PvP. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. But for the armor, we have Lionel's armor, helmet, gauntlets, and greaves. Very good heavy armor set. And then we have the Rotten Winged Sword Insignia, Phlox Canvas Talisman, Fire Scorpion Charm, and the Godfrey Icon. The reason I'm using these is because one boosts the damage of incantations the other one boosts fire damage and since all of frenzy damage is fire damage you get a nice little boost as well as the main weapons are fire damage as well and then the godry icon since all frenzy spells are actually charged spells the only one i would change would maybe be the rotten sword insignia because you could actually change that out if you are running a different weapon which is probably recommended if you were running this build for pvp so with that being said one of the main weapons you should swap out for would be the vikes spear this one builds up madness and you could run it with a shield and you could actually buff that shield with there is an incantation called golden shield or something like that and it boosts the stats of shields by a lot so you really only have to run like a the brass shield or any medium shield that has good physical resistances and low stamina cost but that would be the only thing that i would change out uh for PvP specifically. For PvE, I would definitely recommend having the two swords because they pump out insane damage and they are boosted by a lot of the flame damage of the build. So now we're going to take a look at the stats. I am level 150. I have 50 Vigor, 30 Mind, 40 Endurance, 10 Strength, 20 Dexterity, 10 Intelligence, 60 Faith, and 9 Arcane. And as for the spells, we have Flame Grant Me Strength and then all of the rest of them are just all of the Frenzy spells in the game. So now we're going to talk a little bit about the PvP aspect of the build and why exactly I believe that the spear is much better. So overall the attacks in PvP are very choreographed and kind of hard to hit sometimes with the exception of Inescapable Frenzy. So one of the main ways you're going to want to use these incantations in PvP is you're going to want to use the fact that they all have the same charge up to your advantage. So with that being said you always want to be swapping the spells that you're using to kind of catch the enemy off guard and Overall, Inescapable Frenzy, which is the one I, I used to pretty much kill this entire three-man invader, I killed the host very easily. That's going to be like the main surprise attack that you want to kind of keep up your sleeve, because it's going to be able to one-shot the host. So if you're getting ganked by like three people, um, you could just throw out a couple incantations beforehand. They're going to expect them to all be the same, and then you pop out an Inescapable Frenzy, and they die instantly. So it's definitely something that you don't want to use right away or spam, but also you could use it while running away and a lot of people don't ever expect it. So now we're going to talk about a couple of the downsides of the build. One of those being the fact that they have a large charge up time. It takes a long time to get these spells off and you are very immobile when it's happening. So they are pretty dangerous spells and that's one of the reasons why I went very heavy with my armor. And another one of the reasons why I kind of recommend that you guys go with the spirit build just for PvP. Because it's kind of hard to consistently do damage with just the spells. And I found myself to be a little bit too squishy um, and relying too heavily on unbuffed swords to be doing consistent enough damage against things like rivers of blood and other spammables. So another thing I wanted to mention about the build itself is that honestly from what I've found and all of the testing I've done throughout all the other builds I've made was that madness was a little bit underwhelming in terms of damage. You're able to do pretty solid damage as you can see in some of the clips I have. You, you know you do upwards of like 10,000 if you can pop the wondrous physic flask and stay there while the enemy isn't moving and it kind of relies on all of the beams of frenzy to actually hit which a lot of times they're so random that they don't actually hit and another downside is the fact that the frenzy itself and the madness buildup doesn't even affect anyone that's not tarnished so any enemy that is larger than you will not be affected so that's a, another really big downside and the only way you could really make this build thrive and be an amazing build would be using the the vikes spear and running it with a, a large shield or any heavy shield in the game you could even use a medium shield like i talked about before with that one golden shield spell and just poke people in pvp and that would be an amazing build however in terms of just raw damage you're not going to be getting an insane amount 
um, and it's not exactly a very safe build in general for PvE, but if you guys are really set on Frenzy and you think it looks awesome, this is definitely, without a doubt, the best Frenzy build for damage that you can have in Elden Ring. So another thing I want to mention is that if you guys have any specific builds you want to see, just comment them below, and the comment with the most likes, I will be making a build video on that one. So whatever you want to see, just comment it below. And that's pretty much it for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.